So the, the cloud is an evolved, first of all, it's a large space and it's an evolving beast. Um, increasingly, we see where people are trying to expand and focus the, the attack is on the large enterprise and really to penetrate the, the heart of the enterprise class IT infrastructure. And, you know, I think there's, there's a consensus that that's going to require sort of a new grade performance infrastructure and very highly reliable services. And where the network gets involved is now in a distributed cloud. And that's, that's required by certain models like hybrid cloud. Mm -hmm. um, it's implicit in most models. Um, there'll be multiple data centers over distance involved. There'll be large information movement driven by things like cloud bursting, load balancing, uh, all kinds of operations. And of course that network that connects those data centers is now literally inside the computer. So the performance and the reliability of performance of that computer is deeply tied to those same characteristics on the network. So a high performance network with the right sort of packet uh, uh, optical characteristics we think is an excellent vehicle for those solving those problems. I mean data is packet, so um, packets involved and uh, but it's interesting that even as things have become more packet centric, the traffic load on the network, um, I think for most people the vision of everything packet and a very stupid transport infrastructure. In fact, that has broken down. There's more of a, a tendency, and the, the label pots or packet optical kind of captures it. You actually want integration of layers so you can you know, move to the lowest layer for efficiency, um, lowest cost of delivery, but you can deal with flows and packets as you need to. Uh, well, actually, we um, we made an announcement at EMC World a couple of weeks ago that hit content that we have here as well. And in that uh, press release, we talked about some work we did with EMC for EMC World, some joint work, and also about the Catalyst project that we did here with several other partners. There was a bit of a um, uh, data center technology integration focused the last one, and this one we really focused on operationalizing the full cloud in the carrier environment mm -hmm. with a full order to cash process and using what's presumed to be an infrastructure packet optical network as a dynamic elastic on-demand vehicle that's automated and orchestrated within the cloud. So I think we, we do sense that we are part of the creation of an entirely new class of cloud services and really pushing cloud for real into the uh, service provider domain. Um, there's a sense that you know, this sort of new class of services to emerge is going to have to use high performance networks with lots of touch points, um, but you know, something away from the pure over the top models and the carriers really have the experience in delivering those, you know, various types of connectivity services from large bandwidth to small, how to govern service assurance uh, on those uh, services. So we see that as, as intrinsic to the next wave of cloud. Of course, part of this is we have to help them operate those networks in a different way for the cloud because cloud is, the whole spirit is on-demand pay-per-use. So the network, in a sense, has to follow that. Customers will expect it. It's a very new way of operating the network, but really all the carriers we're talking to are, if not embracing that, they're cognizant that that's a, an innovation that they need to start to embrace. And we're having some very interesting, um, doing some very interesting work with them around this.